Hey guys, just want to show you my rig for this year. It's the DVX 22. Had a lot of requests to do a walkthrough of the boat and kind of show you some of the features that I like about the boat. I've had the chance to put it to the test this year. I've got about 30 hours on it. And man, what a machine this is. I'm really excited to show you the ins and outs of this boat and give you guys a closer look at uh, some of the features on the DVX 22. You can see here, I'll just start in the front and kind of work my way toward the back, but uh, you can see it has a flared hull here in the front. A little bit different style hull than what we're used to. The purpose of this hull is to throw the water away. Um, I gotta say, you know, at first when I saw this, I was kind of unsure of how it would ride. And I took it out on the big, big waters of Lake Erie and man, what a big water machine. Beautiful finish on this boat. See here, there's a storage compartment on the trailer. Really a sharp looking boat. You can see, you know, the wheels, everything, attention to detail. I get so many compliments on the boat, you know, when I'm out of town or when I'm uh, fishing a tournament, everybody wants to jump in this boat and take a look at it. Um, I absolutely love the layout and the finish of the boat. So to show you guys the back of the boat here, um, I have a power with the Mercury 350 Verado. Awesome engine. I've been, I've been running Mercury's ever since I started fishing. I can't say enough about them. Super quiet, um, very reliable and my top speed with the mercury 350 is around 60 to 63 miles per hour depending on how much gas is in the boat and how much weight i have in the boat mercury pro 15 horse kicker i'll tell you what this is the first year i've had a 15 horse kicker and man what a difference it makes um, it's very reliable starting i'm able to idle down to a really slow speed that i need for trolling and um just can't say enough about that. As we look in the back here, get a little closer. Bennett trim tabs, something that I opted uh, to put on the rig this year. I've never ran trim tabs on any boat I've ever had. Um, and I gotta say, it took a little bit getting used to on this rig uh, to figure out kind of how they work and how to drive the boat with trim tabs. But I gotta say that I would never um, have a deep V boat without trim tabs. Man, what a difference it makes in that rough water. I'm able to balance the boat out well, and I'm able to really, you know, I can put those trim tabs down, and I can put that big um, flared hull in the front to, to work, and I can uh, cut right through those waves when I'm making those long runs. You can see here, this is uh, something that they added on the boat. Able to get to my extension cords to charge it up. I'm able to uh, just flip a switch to put my plug in and out. And then also something that is a really nice feature is I'm able to uh, switch what number battery I'm, I'm running on. And I can also do a jump start as well. This is a really nice feature that Vexus came up with is the swim ladder in the back of the boat. I can um, just hit that button and I can pull it out and then throw it away. And there's actually a light at the console that for whatever reason, if that is deployed when you're running, it'll, it'll come on and it'll alert you that the, the swim platform is down. So moving to the inside of the boat here, just wanna show you guys what it looks like here. Some of the storage compartments you can see. Plenty of storage in this boat. I gotta say, I've never had a boat with so much storage. Actually, I own so much tackle and so much equipment. And when I'm going um, on the road to these fishing tournaments, I tend to take a lot of tackle, and I gotta say, I have more than enough room for um, all my crankbaits and whatever I'm taking on the road for my tournaments. This is just an extra compartment here. Uh, I opted to put the, the battery chargers there, and I also have a wash down. The wash down's really nice. If I get any, um, you know, fish blood or any type of worm dirt or anything on the bottom of the boat, I can just pull that out. Uh, I flip a switch there and yeah, wash everything out down the drain there. It's really nice. Moving back here, Vexus did a really great job by putting these compartments. Again, more storage. You can put, uh, you know, the 3700 Planos in there. I tend to just keep my planer boards in there for storage. Got a nice measuring stick there. 
This is a really nice feature that uh, is not talked about much on the Vexus boats, but man, is this handy. It's a panel that actually just, you just, uh, you can unscrew it there. You can get to all your bilge pumps. You can get to uh, just about everything down here, anything with the live well. It's really, really nice. Vexus made it really, really nice to be able to access that stuff if you, if you need to do that for any, for any reason. The live well. Wow, what an awesome live well. This is actually a uh, revolutionary live well that Vexus has come up with, and it's called the Intensive Care Live Well System. What it does is it actually, you can see this glass piece here. I'll put the glass piece down. I can turn this switch to turn to pump water in, and what it'll do is it'll fill the water up all the way to that glass. It seals the water in, and I had fish on Green Bay last week that uh, it was like they were living in an aquarium. They were upright, they were swimming around. I have an oxygenator system in there pumping fresh water and oxygen in there to them. It, it's a game changer, especially for us tournament fishermen that need to keep those fish alive in the summer months. Moving to this side, just another storage compartment here in the front. And this is a really great idea that Vexus came up with. They opted to put the cooler in the back of the boat, which is really nice. You know, we spend a lot of time in the back of the boat, especially on Lake Erie when we're trolling for those big walleye. So it's nice to be able to have that back here to grab, you know, worms or a cold drink or whatever you might need. Seats. Every DVX model comes standard with air ride seats. And uh, first time I've ever had the opportunity to uh, ride in a boat with air ride seats and they are phenomenal. They, uh, they really absorb that shock of uh, riding in the big waves. On the passenger side we have a nice rod storage system. This is a rod storage system that allows me to put my rods in there any way I want. I can either put them in with the reel first or the tip first, doesn't matter. Really nice. I think I had about six rods in there last week when we were up in Green Bay and really awesome system. We can see here we have uh, our glove box, nice little storage compartment here. I opted to do two Lowrance HDS lives. You also had the option if you want uh, to do a, a built-in glove box, you know, um, they can customize it however you'd like. Smart craft gauges. So moving forward in the boat, the windshield. This windshield is really, really high quality. It's it's built into the boat. It's not going anywhere. There's no tightening of screws or anything like that. You know, um, any boat I've ever owned, it seems like there's always been issues with the windshield, either coming loose or um, needing repaired. You're not going to have that problem with this. Um, I can actually do push-ups on this. I mean, it's it's not going anywhere. In the center of the boat. Nice rod storage system there. I can fit eight, eight and a half foot rods in there. All right, moving forward, look at this deck. This is a caster's dream. A lot of the type of fishing that we do nowadays, we're actually looking for individual fish. So we'll drive around with our electronics. We'll look for fish on our graph, and then when we find them, stop the boat, we'll come up front, and we'll try to cast to those fish to get them. So that's, that's the way a lot of the fishing is gone nowadays, especially at places like Green Bay and Devil's Lake, places like that. This deck up here though, I had actually last week two people up here casting very comfortably. There's plenty of room. You know, um, I opted to do the butt seat here. It's adjustable. So when I have those long days on the water, I'm spending you know, 10, 12 hours casting all day. I'm doing it in comfort, no problem at all. So looking at the storage here, the front deck's raised and it allows us to have a very deep um, storage compartment here. I actually had about 30 Plano 3700 boxes in there last week when we made our trip to Green Bay. Unbelievable uh, the amount of storage in this boat. I, I can't say enough about that. And they've also uh, built this in. They, they put a plate here so when I go to close this, I'm not going to bang up my boat. It's a metal plate that helps protect the boat. So it's just everything about this boat is well thought out, well designed, and the quality is definitely there. Uh, just another large storage compartment. I tend to keep like all my uh, safety equipment, life vest, rod holders, things like that over there. And this is just a bait well system here. 
so I can keep minnows or whatever I want in there. So moving all the way to the front of the boat here, like I said before, there's so much room on this deck of this boat that uh, I could actually, you know, vertical jigging, I, I could stand up here two people very easily. Like if I was on the Detroit River or any place like that, it's just unreal the amount of room in this boat. I opted to just put a Lowrance 9 up front that's networked to my grass in the back. Um, very customizable as far as what you would want as far as electronics, you know, the sky's the limit. Minn Kota Tarova 112 iPilot, something that I would not fish without. If you guys have any questions about the DVX-22 or any of the DVX models, feel free to shoot me a message. I've had a lot of experience with the boat so far. Uh, it's really starting to learn the ins and outs of um, how great of a rig it is, how it runs. So any questions at all, um, or if you're interested in a test ride, just let me know or uh, give Kenny up at Fisherman Central a call. And actually today, they just got a DVX-20 onto the showroom. It's a beautiful boat, the midnight color. Um, I posted it on Facebook and already people are commenting how, how uh, great that boat looks. So, you know, give us a call if you're interested in a closer look, look at the DVX models of Vexus. I can't say enough about the boat. I absolutely love it so far.